2024 Board of Health meeting. Agenda item number two, roll call. Dan Grabowski. Yes. Trustees. Present. Nick Dado. Not excused. Thank you. Kevin Splain. Present. Thank you. Jasmine Canonas. Excused. Thank you. Okay, I would like to um, stop this meeting and go to the public hearing and requ request to reconsider solid waste and, re and recycling fee structure. Yes. Could, could you please come up so, yeah. we can, so we can hear you, sir? Well, can no. you explain this for one thing? Just well, we, we're getting billed for three uh, garbage bins, and Casella has us down for three garbage bins, but we've never had three. We've only always had one. Okay. So I'd want to be reimbursed for the two that we that we don't have. Well, do, do are you a single family? I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little hard of hearing that. Are you, are you a single family, Jim? No. You're not? No. He doesn't. Uh, did why did did Casella tell you why they have you for three? If if they said you had they have you for three, I have no idea. I have no idea. I've been there for over twelve years and I've never had any more than one garbage receptacle. And I went and got two new. Um, we 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 only had one recycling, and I went and got two more recycling, but I only have the one garbage. So I don't know why. You know, I mean, I got the recycle. I, I came down to the board of health one day, maybe seven or eight years ago, said I needed more recycling barrels, and they dropped them off. Mm -hmm. Good question. Go ahead, Trevor. It's for you to, I don't know who can answer this. Um, I understand he's asking for $150 reimbursement. Was that what per, it is? Per $100. Bucks. Oh, $100. $100. I, I thought it was 50 bucks a barrel. Yeah, but the, my told. question is, I believe, and, and this is, my question is, is the barrels that are currently totals that are out there now, nobody has paid for those totals. Is that the ones that were supplied by the town to begin Initially, with? there was no cost. Right. Replacements, mm -hmm. yes, were at $50. Uh, well, whatever it is, I would just like to have the record corrected on that uh, so that... I think we, that's basically what you, you, you know, should be asking for. We only have the one. So you, but, so you haven't actually been charged the extra money? I, I have no idea. I, okay. you, know, you haven't had the bill. Whether it was on my tax, tax bill or what, I don't know. But so, what have you got on the tax bill? Because the, the fees haven't started. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, then you got to correct it so that we don't get charged for it then. That's what I think you're trying to ask for. And, right. You know, so, so in other okay. words, before you get billed for it, you want to stop, you, you're going to you let us know what you have right now then. Yeah. All so, I got is the one. Yeah, but so you haven't got a bill yet? No. no. no uh, so you want to prevent the bill? Yes. Cause, yeah, because it doesn't start until. Whatever. Yeah. It would, it April would start first or whatever. April 1st is when it starts, yeah. So that will have and, and, and then the second part of it is I really don't like being charged for three when I'm only using one. You know, you're, you're discriminating against me. I have, a, you know, if, if a single family house has one and I only have one, I should only be charged for one, not, not for three. Because the, the whole, well, let me finish, Gus. The whole thing of the, the town told us, you know, recycle, recycle, recycle. And so I went and got two extra recycling barrels, and we recycled the hell out of it. That's the way it should be. But, I, you know, I don't, I don't think that it's fair that a single family who's only using one, only using a certain amount, however you want to measure it, 64 gallons or whatever, that's all I'm using. Mm -hmm. I'm not using three, I'm only using one, but I'm gonna be charged for three because I have a three family unit. Even though we recycle the hell out of it, we've been doing it for years. So you're, you're discriminating against me and you're um, uh, trying to find the right words for it. Uh, but I, I shouldn't be charged for that. I should only be charged for the one, for what I'm using. I shouldn't be charged, you know, that's like saying, uh, well, I'm gonna fill up your gas tank you only need five gallons to fill it up, but I'm going to charge it for 15. It's a, to me, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so I shouldn't be, I should either be able to opt out of two of them or or only be charged for the one. So that's the whole point so, of my... So, so you, you live in a triple decker then, right? Um, you I'm live in a triple hardy. decker? I'm, yes. And it, well, Do you have tenants? I have tenants. Well, yes. Okay. 
See, that's kind of that. Honestly, that is the catch twenty two. Is it? I we I, as the board of health, we didn't set the, the set the fee. The council did. Um, and I that's one of the things that we've had issues with. I think some of us have, and I know Councilor Marchetti has brought it up a couple of times. The whole issue of of doing um, pay as you throw. Because that's essentially that's essentially the way we would correct that issue is do it as a pays and fills. And it was a cheaper, uh, the most uh, a cost-effective option, uh, the, the, like you know, for some folks. For some people, yeah. For some yeah. people, for yeah. people who mm -hmm. don't produce a lot of trash, it's much more much more right. cost effective. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to be in the same boat of getting paid. Yeah, I mean, we talked about people. this we last time. We don't have yeah. we don't have anywhere near that much trash. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, we don't have triple decker either, so I, we're not quite the same boat here. But the issue is he's, he's talking about a triple decker. Yes. Not about what we've talked about previously, because this is this is what that's handed right now is the triple decker, and we all it was voted in already that was. you have to be Being responsible for each, for each unit. Yeah. I mean, my only my only other option is I'm gonna if if I can't get it resolved, I'm gonna have to go out and get an initiative petition going in town, and then get it on the ballot mm -hmm. to that's, straighten it out. I you're mean, you're that, entitled to it. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. I mean. I, I, but I would just rather clear it up here. I, I would. But, but the, but the um, thing is, it, it's already set in place where if you have a triple decker, each unit gets built. Well, you made a mistake. We didn't do it. Correct that mistake. Yeah, we that had not to do that. That's 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 well, whoever put it in place made a mistake. That mm -hmm. that is that. Well, <laughs> that is that's the answer to your question. Yeah. You get, uh, what would what would the what would the fee look like gonna if you went by house as opposed to by unit? Did it, was that ever calculated? No, no. I mean, there was never, you know, there was only a town council vote on it. So I know. Is, is that is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They, they so there was only so the town itself didn't vote on that issue. It was just decided. It's decided, and basically, yeah. that's yes. a, that it's extra stone. That that just that's what it is. It, so you know, whatever I can't tell you anything different. I mean, other the council than the fact could that decide to it, change the way it's going to be. It's it's it has to be paid for one fifty. Or, or can we get you know? Uh, well, I suppose I could talk to Daniels about. It. I mean, maybe we can get a an addendum to it or something on the you know to straighten that up. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, with the town council or something. You know, and, you, and, and you have a lot of people on your side. Don't I mean, yeah. don't yeah. don't think that you don't. Yeah. You know, but unfortunately, the the, the, the power is yeah, right, exactly. Because exactly. we've been that. discussing this for a while, and what we would what we wanted to in the beginning was to make sure that the public understood at the at the times of voting, right? right. When when those decisions were being made, like, hey, you know, we this is why we need involvement, right, from our community. So then we so certain decisions can I, be made I that but nights. no 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 yeah, and we got that trust right. me um but i think now in the place that we're at right those kind of movements we encourage them 100 percent and trust and know as a landlord that you do have that type of backing you yeah. know as well you know uh, and we talked about this last time because rents have to go up right for individuals because landlords can't afford to off yeah. up, up cost the, and and it creates a domino effect and we and we spoke about this um and we did you know um yeah. So my options are to get it on on the agenda with the town council, or to get a petition thing. Going. As of yeah. now, you have to pay for those three units. Basically, yeah. After that, it's up to you what what avenue you want to pursue. Or private. You, you, you or can private. do whatever you want yeah. to do, but right. other than that, those three units are going to be have to be paid for, or, or you can opt out. Yeah. You have there are options, but other than that, as of now, it stays. Okay, and what's the process for opting out? That's the, that's actually what we're going to be doing the hearing on uh, on the twentieth. Okay. Yeah. We will be talking about it later tonight. Minutes. So we'll the, we'll be kind of going over it a little bit later this evening because okay. we've got the bylaws, we've got the proposed regulations here. So tonight. okay, a question. Uh, so are you going to decide how so, the opt out so process yeah. works? They, they, that's so can you decide that I can opt out of two and keep? But one? we're not talking about the opt out program. We're talking about you right now, cause right. That, and that's the hearing. So it, okay. if you have anything yeah. else, the hearing is over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all I have is the the toter the the to correct the mistake that Casella has. Then that's mm -hmm. so. Okay. Is that okay. is that something that we're going to take care of now, or do I have to wait for a decision on that? I'm not quite sure what exactly we need. What, so what he's trying to do, and that's what if I thought. If he hasn't been charged for well, it, well, there well, no charge. There hasn't been. Charged. Yeah, but if it comes down, I'm going to get charged. It's going to have to get. I don't know. I, I think it, a, a decision has to be made before we can have any charges. I'm only listed as having one. 
Because I don't have what three. Is it, what does it say in What does it say in our records that he only has one? And he did receive three trash containers. It says that he has three. Yep. Yeah. Our records mm -hmm. indicate that he was delivered you know, three trash. I mean, stop tokens. by and take a look. I mean, you've yeah. seen it plenty of times. Yeah, I move it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. so that's George. Have something? I just. I don't know if it's helping them out. <clears throat> council, we voted that in as per unit. And the reason for that, or what we, the council felt part of the reason was it, that it shouldn't be born on a single, all, all this shouldn't be born on a single family home. So they went per unit. I understand. And I think what's, he's, even though he doesn't have the three totas, if the building that I think that he's probably getting a bit confused on is the building is going to be built based on units, oh, yeah, non trash so. totals. No, he gets that. Oh, I, 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 get it. So, yeah. I get it. So yeah, he's going to get a built, let's say, I don't know where he lives, but he owns three families and so it'd be apartment A, B, and C. He will get three as a, a bill for A, well, B, for each, and C. Yeah. That's Sorry. nothing that you can fix here, so that's, 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 that's a moot point, right? I just want to point out that the town council only voted on what the curbside collection committee voted on. Right. You were on there. Yes, exactly. Gus, yes. Yes. you voted on it. So I'm saying really? that only yeah, the town council did this. Well, the council is not a citizen. Because you recommended it. The council is not ultimately has it, a legal but you authority. You recommended it. Right. So I thought it was unfair as well that yeah. one, first, one person gets billed the same as somebody who puts out 10 bags of trash. Oh, I, well, I mean, you I, I, no. I would like to do some okay. pays All right, so. so, so this here, other than that, that uh, you answer your question. Just uh, best I could, I guess. Right. I mean, so we're all set. Twenty-eight. You'll get more answers. <laughs> it's six thirteen. Okay. So do we have? Yeah. So I'm ending this here. Right? Well, what, 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 what are we going to decide to do? We haven't been doing anything until the twenty-eight. So we're all set. You don't need me anymore. No, thank you. All right. Because these are two separate things here. Well, this is this is a hair. We have to close the hair. What are we going to do with these two separate issues? You can't do anything until the twenty-eighth when we vote. On the actual, on yeah. the actual, regular, all that. We gotta wake us to the twenty eighth. We wait till the twenty eighth. I know. So yeah. then, should we should we take his issue and continue it to the twenty eighth? I would. All right. I would too. Yes. I, move, I move that we continue his I issue. I second that. Right. It's six thirteen. It's hearing. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We have a motion on the table to continue this public hearing, eighty five Everett Street, to the March 28th public hearing. Yes. I have a motion by Gus, a second by Jasmine. I'm going to do a roll call. Kevin Splane. Point of information. <laughs> if we, Thank you. you're going to put the cart before the horse because the public meeting is going to have to be heard first, well, we which are. is basically doing we what are. we just did now, and we can't give him an answer until we decide what we're doing on the 28th. We can put we can put him after after him after that in the agenda. We can just roll it back to like roll it after that. All right. We can call him up on the agenda. Yes. Thank you. Dan Grabowski. Yes. Thank you. Jasmine Canonas. Yeah, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where Thank you. I see what you're saying, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, he cool walked right. out, so we need to. At that point, Kevin, we roll him over another time. Public hearing meeting is closed. Okay, 614, a public hearing is closed. Thank you. Agenda item number three accept the minutes for February, tw February 8th, 2024. So moved. Okay. Dan Karabowski? <laughs> yes. Kevin Splain? Yes. Jasmine Canonas? Yes. Gus B. Yep. Yep. Thank you. B. Discuss the meeting meeting minutes for February 29, 2024. Second. Second. Jasmine Canonas? Yes. Kevin Splain? Yes. Um, you, were, sure. you weren't there. You weren't there. No. <laughs> That's same. That's same. That's good. Try it. Try it. Kevin Splain? Yes. Thank you. Gus Steves? Yes. Dan Grabowski? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you could technically vote, vote on it if you read that such. <laughs> Agenda item number four, Citizens Forum. Any, any citizen wishes to discuss anything that's not on the... On the uh... yes. Citizens Forum, right? Huh? Yeah. Right. Can I see? Are you recognizing me? Or yes, you... no, I'm rec can, okay. you, can you come up so we can see you? Yeah, so... No, you got to come up so we can see. I can't see it because okay. it's <laughs> 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 three, three family. So it's going to cost us more for the trash <clears throat> than it is for the water and sewer bill. Yeah. So I just think 
you know, kind of tend to agree that it should have been the, the what do you call that, the pay as you throw? It should have been a combination um, to have the pay as you throw and the um, fixed rate. Now I am working on the billing. I've received, I don't know how many calls trying, you know, transfer to the health department to answer questions. <clears throat> a lot of things is, is um, there's nothing on the website. I point them to the page. Oh, there it is. Just let you know they're not. They're not looking. They're okay. not looking. Okay. Number one. Um, <clears throat> number two. They're expecting me to give them. You know, I say, well, it's 115 dollars per unit times six times five times. Just right. do the math. Right. Well, you should do the math for me. <laughs> okay, so the attitudes are really tough. Well, I'm happy uh, to buy calculators and hand Well, exactly. <laughs> so I'm just saying. The other thing is on um, I'm part, I'm part of the software program for conversion to water sewer. So I know there was an email sent earlier today. I know it's an employee, but I have packets. Of, did everybody sign this? Or, yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to give you this as board members what I've been working on. Number one, because the new software, we, the town, Water and Sewer, does not have phone numbers or emails. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. and the data. So Thank this you. is, if you want to, oh, that's my original. Oh, okay. On top, so, okay. <laughs> okay. So, if you I'll want to, because this, please. Thanks. Yeah. I made six copies. Thank you. Feel. So, okay. Thank you. And then, uh, Dan. Oh, thank you. Okay. Can I pull up a chair? Because yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right there. Yeah. Good. So Grab it with the wheels. You feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so. be careful. That one of them falls. So, yeah. Yeah. so, so, so you're not, we're not going to go through all the pages, first of all, because the back two have nothing to do with this. I just did it as an example. So, change of address. The first thing, you know, Actually, this, is, this is this is citizens' form. You know that, right? Right. I, Mr. Mr. Chairman, oh, so I really, I really, yeah, I I I really, I really think yeah, this yeah. ought to be on the next. This, this ought to be on the next. Next okay. meeting. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll get that. This, the is, this is going to be okay. much more. Right. Because um, this is yeah. citizens' form. Yeah. So the other thing under citizens' form, form, I have a problem which we've witnessed. I guess somebody else witnessed, reported it to police department. People taking toters and moving it from one location to another. I discussed it before at the meeting. My next door neighbor took two of my toters, you know, that's so, and now I have pictures of my cell phone of my toters, green and black, <laughs> okay? But there are toters out there, six families should not be having nine black toters. No, 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 no. Okay, no, so I'm just saying, and I can't give the person's name, but they're moving, you know, the trash gets picked up, the next day he picks up the toters, walks them down the road. No. Wheels them down the road to another location. Oh, no, sure. So, that's and that's been witnessed on South Street, Sale Street, you know, is it and the reported same to the police department. Is it the same landlord? I, it's the person that works for him. So I can't say it's the landlord directing him to do that. I can't, do you know what I mean? I okay, just, I see, I see you. You, I you see know, you. I come okay. home and okay. why are they wheeling a thing down to the that's other side of Mechanic Street? Yeah, the other side of Mechanic Street has a different pickup day for trash mm -hmm. okay. than we do. So sense. if the whole street of Mechanic Street was done on one day, it would eliminate the problem to me. Instead of having the road split, you know, that's the thing that certain, and these are multi unit, what do you call that? Landlords that own yeah, a yeah, lot oh, yeah, of yeah. parcels. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. I'm so, sure that's good. We're going to see that. I think we're going to see that as a, as a, as a big issue. Right. So, so, so for Mike, uh, please. Thank you for pointing that out. That's, so I'm sorry to interrupt. Will we be moving this to another time again? This next agenda. No, next agenda item. Oh, okay, so we're just gonna because yeah. this is citizens' form. We're not gonna. We can't. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. I just have a couple of things. First of all, are you going to be sending any information out to the to the residents of this town? They've been asking about it. They want, it. They want to know the cost. They want to know when the billing. They want to know how to opt out. Getting forms for opting out. Uh, the most effective way to reach them is through the mail. Yeah. So my question is, are you going to be sending something out? I have not received anything yet. No, we don't have plans on doing that right now. Because okay, when we were on the... the Casella, we Casella, Casella is working is on a working brochure. On it should the be out. The health Casella will. It should be out the end of the week by tomorrow, although they've been saying that for the past two weeks. Yeah, they right. send it to me. I find an error. It has to go back to marketing. So when I was on... Something done fast. 
because it should have been done a, like three weeks ago. You're so. absolutely right. But every time they send me a draft, yeah. I find errors, and I don't want an, an error. You can't. Yeah, you can't tell sure. yeah. oh, I get that. I totally yeah, get that. Yeah, yeah. I totally get that. I'm not blaming yeah. you. I'm just saying. And again, that, 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 is that is Casella's <laughs> responsibility, and that is per mm -hmm. the agreement. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunately, that's uh, okay. there is a lag time, as as Maritza stated, due to erroneous mm -hmm. information or additions, etc. Yeah. Uh, but it is their responsibility. And when you refer to that. Answer as mailing. Yes, that's that's the mailing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing in addition to that that's, that the health department's going to be doing. Right. So when I was okay. chairing curbside garbage collection committee, which you were on, mm -hmm. we talked a lot about information out to the to the mm -hmm. public. Yes. And mm -hmm. Irene had a timetable. Yep. A punch list of things that needed to get done. RFQ. Form the committee, RFQ, yep. in educating the seniors. Write down the list, and the last thing she said was get information out to the public. Mm -hmm. And you, at the time, said that you were in agreement with that. Okay. We were going to send something out. It wasn't, oh, that's Casella's responsibility. We were going to do it. So I think it's important to get it out. Whether you're responsible or not, there is a thing called transparency, and that's what we talk about all the time. So it's important to get the information mm -hmm. out so the residents know exactly what is coming. Uh, the what other question I have, a resident asked me, they have, they saw in the, your draft that they can have two recycle bins. They told me they also have two garbage bins. They want to know are they going to be able to keep two garbage bins. No. If it's if it's just one unit, okay. yeah. yeah. So they, they're required to one one toter. Mm -hmm. They should not have two. Uh, they can have as many as recycle bins as they, they want. They, 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 want, they, pay. they told yeah. me that they were given two. They asked for two because they have more trash, and they were given two toters. Okay. Well, I, I can't answer that. We would have to check our database. It it doesn't it doesn't align with the processes and protocols that. Uh, are have been implemented and need to be implemented. Um, maybe it was done by error. But it's something we'd have to evaluate. Yeah. And, and, right. and yeah. I just wanted to make one more comment. These bins all have serial numbers on them, so somebody moving them around, it's easy to check yeah. on them. Yeah, right. that's true. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Are there, Thank you. Okay, are there any other citizens that wish to speak? Yes, sir. Thank you. Take like five minutes. Well, I got five minutes. You got two, two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, talk fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kevin Box at 149 one Average Street. Uh, the first point I'd like to make is I, I too was on the curbside advisory, uh, and from what my understanding was, we were an ad hoc committee um, researching and developing the program, mm -hmm. uh, but at any time, once we turned our product over to the council, it was within the council's purview to it was, unfortunately. change everything. Yep. Uh, so uh, yeah, we, didn't, we didn't have a legal authority to do it at that yes, committee. You you're a, you're a I said I said in that committee, we in that committee, in that committee, we can, we can do various all kinds of things on this board. That's true. Right. But on that board, so let 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 Tevin oh. talk. Um, that, that's just one point, and it's in the past. We need sure. to look at the future because the future is now. Now, <laughs> yep. uh, it's going to be uh, had, um, total inventories. Um, we've, I've, I've talked about before. Um, we're, we're under uh, pressure to try to achieve this. Um, in, in all my years of experience with the town, I know it sounds simple to, hey, let's mail the residents something. It's around five or six thousand dollars to mail yeah. anything, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's upwards, now more. It could be a lot more. Right. Okay. Uh, is there any possibility of us, if, if Casella can't meet Tomorrow would be great because if you look at it, you're going to start billing April <coughs> first. So if they're going to receive anything, it should be. Uh, could the town ask for reimbursement and send something out? Well, Kevin, what not? Like you said, Marissa, you can try and work with them for the last two weeks. Just trying to do the best you can. Yeah. 
no, and this is the, I get that the mailing can be contentious, as the council indicated. During all discussions, yes, we were all on board that it would be prudent to mail to get to do this outreach. But there's other avenues. Certainly, take a look out front. We have a new sign. We've done everything we could and taking these avenues to get information out. Appropriate Website, information. Okay? Yeah. And there's just so much yeah. we Actually. can do, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, aside from knocking on doors or having a biplane fly over town and drop leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I no, just, that's I, that's I, the I truth, don't, that's and I don't want to be that's silly, right. but, but a mailing was, was agreed upon, that's what we okay? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it hasn't been done. Mm -hmm. So I, I do understand the concerns. Mm -hmm. We too, from the health department, were counting on this, mm -hmm. and still are. Yeah, we, and not to say it's Casella not going to be done. It is late. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. Did we give Casella a deadline? They had. They they keep they they keep messing it up every time. Yeah. But did we actually give them a deadline? They don't care about that. Um, they keep no. screwing it up. Not that yeah. I know. I would have to read the agreement, but I there's right. not a deadline. This is still citizens get. forum. Uh, I think I've used my two minutes. Okay. Uh, I'll be here next meeting again. All right. Are there any, are there any other <laughs> citizens you. who wish to speak to our citizens forum? Seeing none, agenda item number five. Review, discussion, and vote on changes due to the Code of Regulations, Chapter 2, Storage and Disposal, disposal of Solid Waste. And before we continue, <coughs> did you uh, happen to... Happen to Look at the solid waste. Is, yeah, is, 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 is there anything that you uh, want to update on, and uh, or, or not? Um, no, because mm -hmm. we'll fill you in if you need to. Yeah, no, I'm good. You yep. good with that? Yep. And then I, if okay. I, I would have contacted him. Or it's, uh, it's all like, yeah, I, I'm still learning to no, no, on all good. that. Yeah. Because if you need anything, we'll be glad to fill I, you in. Thank okay. you. No, I'm good. Well, I, I, Any I discussion? Any question? Yeah. Um, when I was reading through it. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I'm not trying to give you a heart attack. Either. Um, I know I, it occurred to me, and I did kind of didn't. I kind of noticed it pre in our previous discussions of it, but it, for some reason it didn't hit me at the time. And that is the various places where we transfer the authority from the Board of Health to the Health Department. Um, and that made me wonder: um, what is the legal authority for um, appeals and grievances if? You guys do something that that something that, that somebody has a problem with. Do they come to us? Yes, they do. That is the that's already in law. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So because that's I wanted to see about putting that into the law if that would be in the Appeals, regulations. Uh, variances. Yeah, because usually Daniel yes. will tell us, and then then we have to vote. We yes. we have yes. to vote on it. Yes. Yeah. So, so that we would so, that so would they would automatically fun. appeal to us. You, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So I, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't look at that. And Daniel done that before, text, so. and then we had to vote on it as a group. Yeah, I just want to mention because that wasn't actually in the text. Oh. But that's what happens. Gotcha. So should we should we put that somewhere in the text? Um, any thoughts on that? Put, put what in the text? Uh, what I was thinking is put it's legal to do so. Say, you say, could say, add say that as, as, an, as an information. Peace, so that people will see it. Say as I, as you you right. it clear, I would say as, as yeah. anyone seeking redress for decisions of the health department may apply for a hearing with the Board of Health, which shall be held at the earliest possible meeting. That's, that's fine. Yeah. That's ungazy? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah okay. Okay. And that's just an additional like it's drop just, down for It's just a clarification so that people know what the process is. Gotcha. Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't sure of it. How would they know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the question, I guess, is where do we put it? Maybe under resources, yeah, little resource tab. Oh, that's not fun. Where do we put it? On the definition somewhere? No, this is, it, it's under the It's usually um, um, that verbiage in, in a statement like that would usually be found at the end that's what I'm thinking of somewhere. a code. Your appeals, section nine. Appeals process. Section nine. You can see it. Okay. It's like the eye exam. Can you read that? <laughs> Last letters, Daniel. Oh, we don't. It's already in there. It's already in there. Okay. 
See, that answered your own question. I guess I did. Good. All right, on this agenda, I'm good. Good. With you in discuss, does anybody have any comments on the changes of, from, uh, from the last time we were here? Everyone read the changes? So, according to this, we have to vote on the changes that we that before, we, before we vote. Can we have Francine? Oh yes, yeah, Francine. Mm -hmm. Sure. Can what you, what you, the question is, I don't think we're voting on changes until we have the vote. Yeah. 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 So vote, change, vote on the change. That says vote on the changes that we that we did so for last so time. Form, so formally, we would be voting to those. Those are the items that we voted to send to public. Yes. It's our new section 5.5. Okay. All right. So the second page, that's enough on that. The second, page, on that. Yeah, the second page is the finals. Lawyers contact the town assessor's office to do a final reading request for water and sewer, and they will have to do so for the, for the um, trash, because the trash is billed ahead for three months. Okay. So when they sell, they, it should be, it can be a prorated fee in the software that, that it can be calculated, supposedly. And the person, the lawyer gets a, again, it all depends on the software, to get a bill for the, so right now water and sewer is manually quoted because the software stinks. So the new software hopefully will, I can work with it to learn how to do a final in the new software using trash as the shorter template, if you will. I don't have to contact the water department. They make the request to me, which is the normal process now, or Jasmine, and then there's a place account number, et cetera. So I know last time we talked about the fees, or you guys did, because right now 50, the administrative fee is 50 for water, 50 for sewer. The administrative fee to process a final was, was proposed by previous treasure collectors to be $25, because we're not involving the water or sewer department, it's just me. So I can't see killing them with a $50 fee. Oh, totally. When it's a one, you know what I mean, a one shot. Yeah, that's right good. Now, right? I mean, that, yeah. That's what makes sense. Right. 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 Good. So yeah. this is all, you know, I had my coworker go through some of the version. It still has to be approved through town manager and other people. Um, but that's, you know, and then once it changes, okay, because right, um, once it changes and the two softwares merge, then we have to have, in this instance, I do the billing. I cannot be the person that approves an abatement. Right. They have the right, which is on the back, the next stage is the final water sewer meeting, so skip that. Okay, the next thing I did was attach the bill backers, which Maritza was on the email with these. 
and I kind of, this, I tweaked it tonight, because the closest to it is the water sewer, the bill back for the water sewer. Right. So this has, there's a quote in here about the law, the interest rate, which is the treasure collector, that, you know, so this has to be worked on sooner than later. Who does the abatements for water and sewer? I can't hear you. Who does the abatements for water and sewer? I, well, no, the one, the, the DPW babies. director. Babies. That's the problem. Once the two softwares can merge, you know, merge, it's one bill, one form. I right. can't do two sets, and you oh, can't no, ask no, the no, taxpayers yeah. to do, oh, oh you've got one bill, but we have to do this form for trash and this. So whoever's going to oversee the, you know, the water sewer, bill, the utility billing, and has to approve the abatements, it's usually the DPW director with conversations as I did uh, okay. talking to other towns. It's the billing person, DPW director, and the health director working together okay. to communicate via email to say, no, this is the situation, okay? okay? Right now, Will is, there are people calling and saying that the number of units in their house is not a five, but a four, not a three, but a two. Will goes out there and he's, that they're correct. So your numbers of uh, revenue are going to come down yeah. because those multifamilies are dropping. And if they do an opt-out program, it's going to be less, yeah. right? So I'm just saying, you know, right. it's un unfair, but it is, you know, the, it is what it is. So there's mistakes, you know, in the <laughs> database, in our vision yeah. database, as I said oh. previously with trash, the curbside, that's not the database to use because there was issues and so there is a new stuff. So this form is the real important thing because we cannot mail out a bill, in my opinion, without a backup. Of course not. Yeah. Right. So the real estate tax bill gets one, personal property has one, motor vehicle has one, water and sewer has one. Uh, yeah. So you have to state to them on the back of the bill, how much you charge it for interest, what's the abatement process, how when's the bill due? Thirty days after mailing, but and nobody reads the back of it, but you legally have to state it. Sure. Yeah. Right. So I don't know what law, you know what I mean, the MGL, blah, 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 that's covered for trash. Yeah. I don't know, is the percentage rate still 14%, you know, or is it 16 or is it 10? I don't know. That's the treasure collector. So I would propose that this board and health department sit down with the town manager and the finance person, or I mean Michelle Hill, maybe just Michelle Hill, because she is the finance person. To go through this bill back, or because I, you know, and the email says from Hannah, should it be the Board of Health? Should it be Maritza? I think it needs to be a combination because you need to get it done. We need to get it out, you know, done so I can do the billing because it's going to go nowhere without it. So we would have to sit down with the town manager on this. Does that be the best bet? Mich Michelle Hill is the oh, treasurer collector, Hill? right? Treasurer collector finance. She does, I mean, I think I said she's on the email tree, but Hannah's like. Hannah Prescott is yeah. kind of pushing sure. it to you guys and Maritza. So I don't know. I'm just saying, so I don't care who does it, somebody but does somebody's got to do it. Right, so, <laughs> so what's Michelle Hill's title? Treasurer, 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 Treasurer Finance Treasurer. Manager. Treasurer. She's got three Treasurer. titles. She's the finance manager. Finance. I, know, I know she is. Yeah. Money. All right. Now. Okay. So the other thing is the abatement application, which I can work on, but I need to know what that law is, what, you know what I mean? There has to be details on it. I can't do an internal, when I'm doing the billing, they have to, you know, they have to, they, the property owner, have to fill out a form and file an abatement. Then they, just like you talked about appeals, they have to process it just like all the others, when 30 they, days from when, mailing, when they have to submit the same, it to the since, assessor's since office. All, since it's also being done as a, um, but the same, the same way we're doing water and sewer as a, what's the right one? Um, um, Can't hear you. A, not a revolving fund. What's the Enterprise fund. Enterprise, Enterprise fund. fund. It, wouldn't it fall into, the, then it wouldn't fall into the same law for the way the abatements are done on that side? That's a finance director question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that, okay. it might be, but I don't know. Um, I don't want us. You know, what do you I'm not going to step the legal toe. I mean, the legal yeah, toe so to this person so, first. You know, that would be like so the first step, the right step. Mm -hmm. and, but Temporarily, too, right? I can probably yeah. do some kind of form yeah. to yeah. do the okay. trash okay. abatement okay. application until we convert. But the decision has to be made who will approve 
the abatement application, who will receive them, process them, issue the certificate, do the mailing. There's a whole process to doing an abatement. Right. And I it's guess. not like you get two or three. You know? I mean, logically, it makes sense that the abatements go all to the same person. Which would be the billing department. No, 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 no. The person who does, the billing part department does not do abatements. Right. I cannot approve it if it's I am the billing thing. person. Um, That's so, a conflict and she, of interest. She was just saying that, the, that for water and sewer, the DPW does it. Right. So but logically, DPW it makes sense it. that they would handle ours too. DPW can't do it by law, I don't think. They, they can't do curbside? Sorry, it's a trash? Really? I don't think they can. Well, well they have to pick up the uh, illegal dumping. They pick it, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> We got to get on right away. They, so, in other words, you know, despite the meeting, they have to wait, but I don't know. Right. I, I don't know which way for you guys to go, other than you can do a temporary form, but once we convert, it's one bill. It needs to be one abatement application to one per, to that one make, that department totally head. Sense. That totally makes sense. So, so it then, would behoove us to have that same department head get used to those abatements. That makes sense. That you know, totally but sense. that's my opinion, and. But it's, I mean, slap it on. And, huh? and, and what Kevin, if what Kevin says is I'm right, sure. that creates a huge problem. Because so then I guess we, I guess to go back to the discussion that we started, I guess that you, me, and, and Dan and Maritza had the other day. Um, I guess we really do need to have Rob look at this. Need to do to figure out what the law is and who can do it because right. we have no clue. Correct. I think that's a discussion that should be had with Michelle and has it in right. conjunction with the town manager. Yeah. That's a starting point right there. So um, the department subsequent to that, so follow-up can be made with attorney Capera. Okay. So first, though, the first steps would be that meeting Michelle and with Jack. Michelle, like us. Yeah, to right? clarify this a bit, because again, stuff. In, in, in truth, abatement processes not been uh, and have not and are not right now currently uh, part of a, a public health program they're not no okay right they're, they're, <laughs> they're not an integral part of any health department that I know of so this is unprecedented okay okay at least here so what we have to do uh, is move on it quickly obviously right. but we can do our part to, to have this meeting occur. Okay. And, and and get clarification on what the steps. Mm -hmm. So then first, guys, okay. it would be this one. And then from there, it's like an onion, obviously that layer, so we'll move on. So yeah, and then so, but this yeah. would be yeah. the meeting, Gus, like all, all oh, yeah, these all people. Yeah, yeah, we get yeah. So if that's the case, then maybe we should ask them to come, because we've already got something set up for next week. The, the 28th. Yeah, yeah 28th. We, oh, 28th. We, were, we were also talking about doing the 21st. Yeah, oh, on the last minutes, you had a oh, public hearing scheduled. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we moved that to the 28th. But if we need and to we sit down with them, maybe, we need, to have, maybe yeah. we need to have a special meeting yeah. next yeah. next Thursday, yeah. specifically with Jack and Michelle and I say anybody people, else who we need to actually yeah. try to figure this out. I say that gets done that's before how, we go even really into important. the 28th, because we're going right, so unarmed. We, know, we have to get it done quick. And so so you, 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 you would want to get a, have a, another uh, meeting yeah. scheduled for the 21st? We basically don't have any choice. With, have Michelle, yes. with Michelle, Lee, and the town manager to discuss? Well, if they're, and you know, everybody else. Or who else do we need? Huh? Me. me. Who's me? Oh, Michelle, uh, Michelle Hill and uh, Tom Michelle Hill, Jack. No, they oh, said, said me. They oh, said, me. yeah, yeah, okay, like themselves. Oh, no, yeah. I, yeah. I, no, I, I, I did say Lee. I thought it was Michelle Lee. Michelle Hill. 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 So Francine's issues should be taken to the town manager right. and, the, right. and and not involve you guys at this exactly. point. Exactly. That's what we're not. doing. The DPW sent the. Screen. You're here right now to the board of health explaining because the problems that are here. Right. I'm just saying all these problems should be taken to the manager and the and the and the finance director, and then report back to you guys how they're going to do it because you I guys aren't involved with the building. Right. It's going to be the assessor's office, I guess, and what you're going to do is just set the fees. The so, problem is the DPW person has 
forwarded the email to the board saying to the it's board the board of health, health yeah, yeah. or the, the health department. And then they should, but the, I can't keep bouncing an email around. I need oh, a I tell you, I tell you. So I, I think she enough. needs to sit down with a list yeah. with Jack and with the finance director on how, how the building is going to be handled and how the abatement process is going to be handled. That's not a board of health issue at this point in time. Well, I think that, that what we're trying to do is get these folks up so then we can get all that clarity. Oh, so yeah, that's exactly what we're not going to do. Yeah. 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 I mean, what, it's not fair to them to come before you guys unprepared with something. I think she should be taking that to the hey, town manager. Thank you. That's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, George. I can't leave my office, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. So we'll look at we'll take yeah. we'll look into that, um, Francine. Appreciate. Is, is there anything else you need to discuss? Um. So the I don't know when the go live date is. I'm just letting you know. Okay. All I know oh, is we're having a training on the the 19th, and Hannah Prescott from the DPW is the organizer okay. or the go to or whatever you want to call it. Community so like, yeah. I'm just saying whatever. You kind of have to include her in that that email or something to say, because whatever discussion maybe you need to involve this Benoit, maybe if you don't, I don't know, you know, but I, I just kind of, no, as we'll, a resident, I'm kind of annoyed that no, we have no, all these trash meetings and I was the only staff person or, you know, there was a management sure. that came, you know, so. Uh, not present management excluded. I'm just saying, no. obviously, you know? We got it, and we so hear your frustration, and we'll help in the ways that we can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Francine. Thank you, Francine. And if you Thank see you. when you're going through this, please, if there are any typos, any, you know what I mean, if you're seeing something, you know, um, say, I had Jasmine review it, but again, she didn't review the nothing. thing is to fill back. <laughs> she she That's what we're calling. Getting back to agenda item number five, okay. it says, just, to vote on the changes that we did uh, a couple days ago to continue to, to, to March 28th. Okay. So all we're voting on, providing everyone agrees on the board, yeah. to mm -hmm. continue this to the 28th of change that we right. occurred yes. from, from the last meeting. Exactly. Okay. So would anybody like mm -hmm. to make a motion to vote? I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. Okay. Second. Kevin Splain? Yes. Dan Grabowski? Yes. Jasmine Canones? Yes. Gus Steves? Yep. Okay, agenda item number six, review, discussion, and vote of, vote of Board of Health fee schedule. Mm -hmm. Motion. Second. And we're again sending this as my answer. Right. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. My question, yes. if I may, Mr. Chair. Sure. sure. What did we decide? I didn't see it, but what did we decide our last meeting we discussed the forty dollar fee to charge for um, delivery. So the delivery, delivery of the town delivery. Delivery. Yeah. Did we remove that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yes. I just waited. So yeah. we did yeah. 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 remove that then. Thank you. Because some will have their rate though, yep. as far as us we're, uh, we're, we're done. We're, we're not gonna yes. charge citizens for, for uh, a new citizen for for yeah. Perfect. Thank right. you. Okay. Check my all right, so we have a motion on the table by Kevin Splain, second Gus Steves, Dan Grabowski. Yes. Kevin Splain? Yes. Jasmine? Yes. Gus Steves? Yep. Thank you. Okay, agenda item number seven, Chairman's announcements. I just um, I don't have any other than the fact that what uh, Francine brought to us, we somehow should, you know, um, get Michelle Hill and the Tom Amos somehow to to get on this, you know, when we right away as soon as we can. Right. Because right. I mean, because we can't, do, we don't have time to delay anything anymore, oh, and I don't want to have anybody panic over, or you know, because everyone's getting all kinds of emails and it's probably not accurate, and someone's getting false information. Mm -hmm. Well, that's also, you know, the, the importance of making sure that the, that the town also gets themselves involved. Right. You yeah. know, yeah. so when we put out all these things saying, "Hey, come on down," these are changes that are happening in the town, and then you hear crickets. But then now, <laughs> but no, but now, right? No, but now here we are. Things are like, you know, and, and you know, Absolutely. nobody knows what's going on. And this affects everybody. Because no, they don't think it affects us too. We're board member, yeah, but the, 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 like we're all seeing that they do, but so nice. right. Agenda item number eight, health director's announcements. Yes, thank you, Chair. I have an announcement on 
departmental changes. First, Marissa will be officially starting as the town agent for solid waste slash landfill monitor. I'd like to congratulate her on that position. She will be starting uh, Monday the 18th. Okay. Okay. Also, we have applicants for the solid waste slash re recycling monitor positions. We have three positions now. Unfortunately, uh, Hector did resign his position. He'll be leaving this Friday. Oh, so, leaving. No. Yes. Uh -huh. and we, we want to thank him for his service. He's done it for years, uh, but it was time to move, move on. Um, yet again, we have four applicants, one more right now, so we have interest for the positions. That's good. Which we do have to fill. Again, there's three positions right now, part-time. Um, and we'll be <laughs> conducting interviews and, and uh, those processes the next week or so. Okay. What are the, the requirements for that? Like, is there like a, like are there like like it has to be obviously over eighteen and all that? Or are there like different um, there. people that we? Yep. Oh, yeah, the job uh, description right there. Wow, well, identifies it. Bunch of them. Them. Just in so, case I'm looking for. Okay. It. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to but there is interest, so we are pleased yeah. pleased to announce that well, to the board. That is, uh, I already tried it. We do. We do. Um, in addition, um, we also have. Um, and a new admin assistant slash inspector that I have chosen a candidate. Um, I will be announcing that individual. Uh, that's contingent upon uh, the drug screening and, and all the items that's required by HR background check. Okay. But uh, I'm pleased to announce that I was able to find a suitable candidate and we're very excited to have that Good. person on board shortly. Is that person going to be taking over your stuff for minutes or something like that? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Oh, you're not, not, you're not. She'll have more than enough to do. Yeah, <laughs> she will. Yeah. Well, I didn't agree to any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, nobody asked but but graciously, Maritza, uh, you know, uh, has agreed upon uh, training, doing the training for that person. Oh, so that we'll take, for while a handling while. this job, yeah. so it's multitasking for a while. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank her for that. How's that? Okay, num agenda by, uh, item number nine, board member announcements. You guys, do you have anything? Yeah, so I do. So um, last time that we um, um, were together, we spoke a little bit as to how we could support the school systems with everything that's going on. Um, you know, I've been part of a lot of different meetings and, you know, um, one of them I think that would be really important is to see if we could maybe have um, a guest speaker um, come. Um, they're going to be implementing uh, a new program called the CARES Act over in the school system, which is a grant through the Synergy, and they're going to be talking about just like different um, supports that they're going to be providing, you know, to, to, to they're going to start off in the middle school and then like work their ways up you know to the high school etc mm -hmm. um and um the, i i think it would just be really really important to have them come kind of let us know right like these are the things that we've oh, seen totally. these are the mm -hmm. things that kind of like we were discussing before Gus. like you know like what are we seeing and what can we do and so that, that, that way good. we can just kind of all learn right because oh, there's yeah. so much to this and we don't know what parts are for us and what parts are not for us you know and i'm not saying like that we're like oh we're going to take everything on but then this way we can learn and then you know take it from there and be like okay these are the parts that would pertain to the board of health on this basis and oh, these okay. are the things that we can do but we can't do that unless we learn right so are you and, suggesting that they come to one of our yeah I, I think so That's and um, i don't know if anybody's um familiar with um kelly williamson um so she she's the one that heads the program um and has been going through like a lot of different agencies um, speaking about the program and you know some of the um, you know upcoming resources and and statistics that they're seeing you know on you know different supports that the school needs etc. Oh, okay. um, so um, you know and it doesn't have to you know maybe we could do something virtually depending on time or we can invite them here and invite the public oh, you know sure. because I mean that also you know would be great for the general public to be able um, to know because you know we're falling into a little bit of a little bit of trouble you know and so as time is going on there's different occurrences that are happening now um, you know and and should be told um, you know uh, we have some school districts even in our area um, that have um, children identifying as cats and, and there's other things happening and 
you know, um, kitty litter boxes being put in school system. And there's just a lot. And I actually am not as organized as I should, but I'm gonna all email everybody. And and so we have to be. A, uh, what basically the reason why I'm saying is because we really need to be aware is what's going on in our neighborhood, and we can't help our communities right properly unless we know what's going on in our towns. You know, and and. And so, um, so I think it would be really important to start learning okay. outside of, you know, the ball pickup and uh, the oh, totally, toters, totally uh, you totally know, um, which yeah. is so important, uh, trust me. Um, but, you know, as to what it is that we can do, you know, uh, to, to, you know, to be able to help on, on in, w in the ways that we can, right, that pertain to us. Um, mm -hmm. Because we are also, you know, limited and cannot take on any more than, <laughs> than, than we can handle. Okay. So, okay. Um, so what I think, um, and if everybody's okay with it, um, we all have those um, .gov emails, those are secured emails, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll loop us all into like a secured email chain, and then, you know, we can all figure out what timing works best, and then um, mm -hmm. figure out what advertise and all that looks like, and then we can kind of go from there. And Gus, we will continue what we're, the projects that we were going to continue when we were going to meet and figure yeah. out. So we'll still continue what we're doing. You know, that'll just be an additional layer of, you know, everything else that, that we're going to do. So, and then we can ask questions too, you know, because I'm not, I'm not an expert, uh, yeah, you know, so, um, and so, um, and then we can just kind of, you know, continue to, you know, figure out in the best ways that we can support. Okay, that works. That all set. Gus, you have anything to add today? Um, I actually don't this thing. Okay. Number 10, schedule next meeting. Um, before we schedule, um, we have one on March 28th, 6 p.m. public hearing. That's Thursday. Our regular schedule meeting is April 11th. That's the second Tuesday. And now about next week, March 21th, we have to, we have to first first of all get to see if we can if, if we can make that possible. By um, is that something? I mean, do we want to do this as individually and it's on the side, or can we get Jack and oh, Melissa? Could we could just maybe just have a whoever. just have a little get get together like instead of having a big because um, because this probably there's certain things you can get get done without having a. This is more of a private matter than probably a public matter. What would the, what would the agenda item be at the 21st meeting? That's a good question. Well, that's kind of what we it, it, that would be, if I may, if it has to do with what Francine talked right, about. It's, yeah. Mr. Shenyu was correct. That's out of our hands. So that, we that should have to have a meeting. Right. That, that's a private. Right. No, you're probably right. Correct. Because um, we, that's just, right. Need right. Know, we right. just need to know what's right. going on. Right. So they um, should right. forward to us whatever their decision exactly. was because we'll need to know that information yeah. prior to the 28th. Right. Exactly. Danielle, can exactly. you tell us yeah, what well, I know exactly. of that exactly. pertains yeah. to, like, like what are that, to like these meetings with, with um, the finance and all that? Like the abatement process? Right, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Correct. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you abreast, but, yeah. but you know, like I said, this is going to be something new to me as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, right. uh, as I emphasize it, Rich and I were both willing to do this as, as a team effort yeah. to get it done. We just got to, uh, yeah. We have no experience with it. Yeah. No, okay. no, no. That's not what, <laughs> that's, 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 nothing says more transparent than that. Yeah, I got it. Uh, so, um, but I kind of hearing what Kevin is kind of saying too. Yeah, too. Although to me, Kevin, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel that that meeting would also include everything that we're trying to prepare for for the 28th yeah. as well. Just so we can just make sure that we have everything that we needed for that, for the for the following week with um, the person that came I, and everything else. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, which is fine. I'm on vacation next week, so I won't be here. <laughs> I just figured instead of having everybody meeting again, it, right, it, you right, know, because it's correct. more of a, a, a instead of being a public. Yeah. Meeting again, right. it could be done through emails. Right. My only oh, question, gotcha. that, that, right. my yeah. only yeah. question, no, no, right. my only question <laughs> being is, as far as what Francine brought up tonight, that's got to involve the town manager, the, the yeah, that's, finance that's person, the people, and this person. Who, and that, yeah. who is taking the initiative to set up that meeting with the proper management people right. to discuss? The what parts abatement. are ours? What parts are theirs? I guess we that's will, my question. We will, uh, I, I will. I will take on that task. Okay. Um, I am. I am. I am in total agreement. First of all, uh, 
with Councilor Shanyu. And that, it, that to integrate the Board of Health into this abatement process is complex and it's not a responsibility. Okay? Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. I agree. And this is all a surprise to us. Yeah. And again, what I do say is we, we are team players and we'll help out town in any capacity, but to reiterate, this is not our expertise. And as, as uh, Francine was saying, and she hinted to that there's going to be a, a large abatement process. Probably. The frequency is going to be high. Okay, so are we the 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 right department to do it? I feel no. No. This one, and I will stand by that. Yeah, you I have to agree with okay. you on that. I just my thing is, is is we are so far behind the eight ball on this. We are. I mean, we may be on the twenty eighth, and, I, and I we're implementing this. I agree. Twenty four days so later, that, and uh, uh, I just don't want to see. At Fall Wayside, and all of a sudden, come the 28th, we have our public he hearing, and we're not, we got nothing. We have nothing, and yeah. we'll be behind a, a. This is again very similar to what Councillor Marchetti said about the mailers. Yep. And mm -hmm. I am in agreement with him, and uh, that is very uh, an important aspect. And, and the residents here deserve this. Totally and we were counting on Casella to do it. Right. I was on there, our responsibility. Yeah, yeah. So add, add that as well. And what I just want to conclude with, we are doing our part as best as we can. And a day, there are days, not to complain, we are inundated with, with these matters. Um, but we, again, will persevere. The other thing I want to bring up is to go on top of what Council Marchetti said earlier, as far as mailings, I think we should check into, or somebody from the town might want to check into, because I believe in the contract that we have for Casella, it said mailings will be provided 30 days prior. We are now two weeks prior, or well, 45 days prior, 30 days prior, whatever, and here we have 14 days, 15 days prior. I mean, right. They're not starting out on the right foot with their contract. We signed on. That is, is that something we can go back against them? I don't know if that's something somebody might want to check into. I mean, we did have problems with the seller in the past, numerous problems. And, <laughs> I mean, that's why Mike and I voted against. I, I don't blame <laughs> town residents right now for being upset. I, I mean, understand your concern. I think that direct concern which you identified should be. Uh, should be directed to the town manager and the town council at this point. That's my feeling. Okay. 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 Um, I'll, I'll, I'll for, check for clarification. I'll check yeah, that. certainly. Uh, and I can do my part as well. Uh, I think that would be the starting point. Um, I mean, I think we should hold them accountable. accountable. Oh, yeah. You know, we have the program hasn't started. even started yet, and they're already. Things are going to get really interesting yeah. very quickly soon with all this. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. interesting. It's, 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 it's going to be a learning experience. Gonna be, the first year is going to be terrible. It's it gonna is. Gonna be, yeah. And it's, it's going to be, gonna be a learning experience for everybody. And, and are there going to be problems? Are there going to be mistakes? Of course. You can't right even be. get the brochure going on time. We run into some real issues. Yeah. Of, uh, so. yeah. I, 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 I can almost foresee like, that, we're, that we're forgetting something and we're going to run into it in like May. <laughs> I know. What did we miss? <laughs> okay, agenda item number 11, adjournment. Motion. Second. Third. <laughs> it's 7.05. Jasmine Canones. Yeah. Dan Grabowski. Yes. Kevin Slane. Yes. Trustees. Yep.